see my channel already, I just want to start by introducing myself. My name is Samantha Duguay and I run a blog and a YouTube channel called The Creative Glow. I always refer to my blog as a creativity blog because I love to be creative in so many ways and I love to inspire others to do the same, whether it be in art, beauty, photography, DIYs, all kinds of things. I just want to inspire people to create and have a passion for creating like I do. Having a background in graphic design, I really love the process of editing my videos and making them look sharp and snappy for everyone to enjoy and I find the final product extremely rewarding. So having said all of that, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I like to take a very simple summer look that can be worn at the beach to an evening look that's perfect for going out to dinner, hanging out with friends, or even a romantic walk on the beach with somebody special. So here we go! Okay, so you want to start with a freshly cleansed face. And if you have any hair in your way like I do, you just want to pin those back. I always, always start with my moisturizer and I use a very hydrating product since my skin tends to lack hydration. Now there is a difference between a hydrating cream and a moisturizing cream. A product for hydrating means that it adds moisture to your skin and a moisturizing cream will lock in moisture. Then I apply an eye contour cream using a patting motion and my ring finger. And I just very lightly pat that into my skin. I don't often wear foundation or anything too heavy on my skin, but especially for this look, you want to apply a very light BB cream or tinted moisturizer as I'm doing here. And this just allows for your natural skin to show through but still provides a light coverage and blurs any imperfections or anything like that. And I just apply this with my hands rather than a brush. I feel it really warms up the product and it blends much nicer. So I just apply it all over my face and down onto my neck. Now just to brighten up my eye area, I'm going to be applying a creamy stick concealer under my eyes to erase any darkness and on my eyelids to even the skin tone from any redness or veins that is showing through. And again, I just pat this on with my ring finger very gently. Now for any areas that might need a little extra coverage, such as blemishes or discoloration, I'm going to use my stick concealer on those spots as well. And then also any spots that tend to get a little red, such as around my nose and on my chin. Again, gently patting with my ring finger. Now you're going to once again take your ring finger and just pat under your eyes and on your eyelids to get rid of any creases that may have started. And then you're just going to use a little bit of pressed powder and a fluffy brush and just set your concealer in place. You're going to do the same thing to any spots that you apply concealer around your nose, chin, and your T-zone. And then you're just going to lightly dust your entire face with any remaining powder that might be on the brush. Next you want to move on to your eyebrows. So I'm just combing my eyebrows very quickly and using my favorite eyebrow pencil to fill in any sparse areas and even my eyebrows out. You don't want to go too heavy on your eyebrows since you want this look to be quite natural looking. And then give your eyebrows one last quick little comb to blend everything together. Now I'm taking my bronzing powder and my fluffy brush and applying bronzer to the high points on my face. So along my cheekbones and up towards my temples, across my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, a light dusting on the tip of my nose and on my chin. This is going to give us that nice sun-kissed look that we're looking for. It makes us look like we've been having fun spending time in the sun. 
Next, you'll just want to lightly dust the apples of your cheeks with a peachy blush. You really don't need a lot. Applying bronzer where we did allows you to use less blush. Now I'm taking a highlighting powder and I'm applying it to my brow bones under my eyebrows, in the corners of my eyes, along my cheekbone towards my temple, a little bit down the bridge of my nose, and then to my cupid's bow above my lip. And this is just going to give us that nice, natural, dewy glow. Now a touch of light brown eyeshadow to the very center of your eyelids to bring back that natural darkness that most people's eyelids have. And then with a clean ring finger, I'm going to go back with a little bit of highlighting powder on top of that. Now using a brown eyeliner, I'm going to very lightly line my bottom lash line. Now I'm going to add one light coat of black mascara to my top and bottom lashes. Now to really take this very simple summer look to the next level, a bright pop of color on your lips adds a more modern and on-trend factor and also really boosts a bronzed complexion. So this really is the perfect way to finish off this summer daytime look. So for your hair, I would suggest going very natural. I just added a little bit of beach spray to damp hair and blow dry it upside down with a diffuser. And yes, I do have quite a lot of hair and it's very big, but I embrace it. Now with a few very simple steps, we're going to turn this daytime look into a pretty evening look. The first thing I did was just pin my hair back very slightly. Next you're just going to use your finger to apply a little bit of a darker eyeshadow. I'm using a shimmery brown that's leaning towards the gray side. And I'm using my ring finger just to apply it to my eyelids and up toward my crease. So that when my eye is open, it extends up just enough so that you can see it. Next I'm using a very small round brush and I'm applying that very same color to my bottom lash line, concentrating most of the color on the outer corners. And then you just want to blend that color down a little further than normal so that you're sort of smoking it out. This is going to be a very subtle smoky look. Once you've done that to both eyes, make sure that your ring finger is clean from that brown eyeshadow, and you're going to reapply your highlighter in the same areas that you applied it for your daytime look. So corner of your eyes, under your brows, and along your cheekbones. Then you're going to take a dark brown eyeliner and tight line the upper and lower water lines of your eyes. Next, to make your eyes pop, with this darker eyeshadow on, you want to add an additional coat of black mascara to your upper lashes only. Now, to finish off this makeup look, we want to tone down our lips. So we're going to remove that bright lip and we're going to replace it with a color that's a little more nude that has a little bit of shimmer. If you'd like for a more romantic look, you can further tie your hair to the side and there's your easy evening transition. So that's how I pretty effortlessly take my everyday summer look and turn it into a pretty evening look. I really love it because even with that little extra makeup for the evening, it still lets your natural beauty shine through, which is so important. I hope that you guys really liked my video and that you found it helpful and valuable. I hope that you all have an awesome day and don't forget to be yourself. Everyone else is taken. Bye. Bye.